Hey guys, Logan Rupp Season 8, Episode 20 of Bones. Here we go. Wow. Oh, that's a first. Okay, Bones. Let's hey, you guys. You. The remains decayed in two different ways because the body was exposed to two different climates. I'm not going with natural causes. <laughs> Got that right. Well, of course you did. The likelihood of it being anything other than murder is remote. Ladies and gentlemen, jackpot. Whoa. Sawed-off shotgun, that's old school. Old school's right. Sawed-off. Model 12. Oh, it is sawed-off. I'm really not suicide. Suicide would be impossible due to the trajectory of the bullet. Joke. Well, it wasn't particularly funny. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the body was found in Florida. You've never seen them living together before? Never. I mean, this is like Congress. They function. Hello, Dr. <laughs> Brennan, Congress. Dr. Hodgen. In a world without love, pain and death are a foregone conclusion, so why fear what you can't control? Andrew's been commissioned to shoot a film to raise funds for the Jeffersonians. By uh, wearing the camera, I give the audience an immersive experience. The camera sees and feels what I see and feel. To help solve this mysterious and puzzling crime. And now <laughs> Andrew can get a good shot of Dr. Brennan's sidekick analyzing the particulates way over there. Uh, I'm, I'm not a sidekick, I'm the king of the lab. Uh, of course you are. <laughs> I'm king of the lab. The uh, desiccated tissue has totally distorted the victim's features. The most important things that I do. I will remove this abdominal tissue so you can get to the bones. Stop focusing on the camera. Just do it. Just do you. Okay. Just be you. The camera's not there. Just go. You make it worse when you're like, Hello, camera. Hello, camera. Oh, you're revolting. I did a film on the Colombian cartels. I almost got beheaded. That so reminds me of a video people. I watched when I was really young. Oh. Whoa! That's not drugs. Diamonds. Wow. Brennan thinks this film is all about her. Uh, the Jeffersonian uh, board asked for Dr. Edison. Clark will be working alongside Brennan for the film. Uh oh. Yeah. Dr. Hodgins, diamonds. Yes. Value. Wow. About 200 grand. Each. Work together. Settings. Rings. Necklaces. Oscar shoots us diamond wholesalers. Right? I guess we now know where uh, he got the diamonds. He's got a criminal record. Right. I think a uh, diamond Shocker. merchant hires a security guard. He does some kind of background check. Four of Oscar's customers last year accused him of swapping out their real diamonds with glass when they got their rings clean. Crooked security guard steals already stolen diamonds. What are you doing drinking coffee when you should be questioning Oscar Schultz for the possible murder of Quentin Coles? Sometimes you need a cup of coffee to refresh yourself. <laughs> Show us the work. God, you already ruined my experience anyway. Thanks. Well, thanks for the coffee. Right. Well, it's two days old, by the way. I love old things. <laughs> ah, Dr. Brennan. Mr. Jersick, Dr. Edison, what are you doing here? You want me to back up your findings and perhaps make them a bit more presentable for the film? I'm capable of that. Look, people are going to want to give the kid money. You, I'm not so sure. As the protagonist, it makes sense that you'd want shots from my point of view. Dr. Edison, please try to provide information that would give a donor the confidence to donate. There's absolutely no useful information in what you just told me. <laughs> <laughs> Such a unique sense of humor. Based on striations, this injury to the ulna deserves our attention, the bullet wound. Those who live by the sword get shot by those who don't. Good one. What? Huh? What? <laughs> oh, dumb, man. You are a natural. Ah, <laughs> thanks, man. I got more. Oh, God. Oh, God. No wedding band. I assume this is for an engagement. Bones? Uh, He's the killer. Yes. He's the killer. Uh, no. He's from Supernatural. My, uh, we have a deal that he'll never ask me to marry him. Aha. And when the time comes to marry, which I do not foresee, he believes that I will ask him. Then keep these beauties in mind, darling. Hi, right, so you're Oscar Schultz? Uh, yes, how can I help you? I'm an FBI special agency. <laughs> Here's my partner. And girlfriend. Dr. Temperance Brennan. 
His name is Quentin Coles. That's all I'm going to tell you about him. Why? Don't you people have some kind of, I don't know, maybe some kind of alert? Did Quentin Coles work here? Sort of. I shouldn't be saying anything. Because you're hiding something. I think so. You think so? I uh, think so. I have to call the police. You have to check a car to call 911? Excuse me, let me see that. I'll make that phone call for you, huh? See what's really going on here. Detective Dinko? Joe Dinko. Well, I'm here with a friend of yours, Oscar Schultz. It seems like the two of you have something in common. Right. Meet me in my office in a half an hour. The victim was an undercover cop. Shit. Shit. Calls was his undercover identity instead of flying that metro. Oh my god. Thanks. It's closing in on a two-man crew that's been hitting ATMs throughout the city. So far they made off with about a million and a half. Wow. Okay, look. Why are you and the US attorney interested? I thought you were handing this over to me. I got my marching orders. You understand, Sheriff? Agent Booth, you know me. We just want to help. Okay, when an officer goes down, all of us are affected here. It's no reflection on you, Joe. Yeah. They were buying diamonds to wash the cash. Exactly. ATM cash is traceable. When did you lose track of him? Six days ago. Did Ruben have any family? Just his wife, Lauren. Okay. I gotta call him. I'll take care of that. Don't worry about it. Wouldn't be the first time a cop got tempted to treat himself after looking at his paycheck. Roman was clean. Now look, I work with you, but you better watch yourselves. Ruben was my friend. I understand that, but we have to ask. You would do the same thing, Joe. Okay, this is got more complicated. Doctor Brennan, let me take this teddy. As you can see, the directionality of the bone splintering on the ribs suggests that he was shot twice. All on the right side. The shot to the ulna appears to have been a glancing blow, and the size of the wounds indicate that this is absurd. The, the victim, victim was shot with two different, different guns. guns. Okay, now that was genius. I actually am a genius. Oh, wow. It swaps from the glancing blow to the... Oh. Hello. The swabs from the glancing blow to the ulna contain concrete aggregate, traces of dried algae, God. and peregrine falcon feces. Okay, camera two. Dr. Hudson, solving a murder is more important than a camera. And you'll look better on camera without that thing on your head. <clears throat> the algae is enteromorpha, <laughs> which is found in shallow water. Solving the case is our business, Mr. Jersick. Uh, no, he's, he's actually uh, uh, correct. They're not on the endangered species list anymore, but they are still being tracked. Smile, sweetheart. This is good news. I'll tell Booth. Oh my god. <laughs> not a sweetheart. It's Dinko. Why do you say that? Dinko kept promising that the next case would be his last. I always lured Ruben saying that there would be a raise in it for him. Oh. The only person who ever got a raise was Dinko because oh. of the work that Ruben did. Oh, well, the, the politics of undercover work can be very complicated. Go, oh, God. I just a vacation. Ruben never talked to me about his cases. Understandable. He didn't want me to worry. Understandable. Ruben is dead because of Dinko. Oh. I thought they might give you some environmental hooey that might show up in his hair or teeth or... Whatever it is you people look for in your crystal balls. Balls? That's Andrew Jersek. He's doing a fundraising fund for the Jeffersonian. My name is Caroline. Of course it is. Caroline means song of happiness. You have a camera on your head. I know. But it keeps my hands free. That could come in handy. Okay, well, this has been fun, but Miss Julian and I have things to discuss. I thought y'all knew each other. Y'all clearly, of course. you're just meeting. This is just interesting. <laughs> Swear I'm through time, Caroline.
bones. There's a lot of concrete oh. pillars around here that miss some chumps. Oh, oh you can't work. Hey, Karen, I love you. Well, oh, don't step in the bird feces. Bird feces? Oh, thanks. Falcons must have a nest nearby. Over here. What we got? Something looks like a bullet hit. Body? Another body? Well, it looks like someone was in a hurry to leave and they forgot this. Their foot? You should look at the camera when you were talking. But Andrew's not here, and this is a crucial part of the case. You want the Jeffersonian to get their funds, don't you? Of course. <laughs> Buckshot, double or triple odd. Oh, the foot was my off on God. The shotgun. My guess, the shotgun Booth found in Ruben's SUV. We don't guess, we're scientists. So by logical extension, I posit Ruben's involvement in this dismemberment. That is better. <laughs> Do you think Dr. Addison is more likable than I am? Oh. Dr. Brennan, you are without question the most brilliant forensic anthropologist in the country. I like you very, very much. Well, that settles it. Based on what I'm seeing, <laughs> your foot wouldn't have killed this woman. So she's probably still out there somewhere. Yes. Limping. Cat called video Limping. from all the agencies <laughs> the crew robbed. Their faces were never on camera, and they were usually in and out within two minutes. Limping. Smart. I hate yeah. smart criminals. They're dancing. Look at them. Gonna be tough to dance on one foot now. College kids. Paula Byrne and Marcos Herrera, cyber criminology majors at Carlisle University, wow. College Park. I, I, I need some personal advice. A, I don't do that, and B, <laughs> I especially don't do it on candid camera. It's about Caroline. Oh, God. I just want to know if she's married or if she has a boyfriend. She's divorced. I hope it was ugly and painful and that she's had no second thoughts. Yeah, I, I <laughs> Oh, me too. But maybe you could offer some small details of her personal life. Oh, God, seriously? She recently got a furry cover for her steering wheel. God, I had furry dice. This is Kismet. Thank you so much, Dr. Sirona. Oh, God bless. <laughs> he loves her. Oh, well, we should warn Caroline. Oh, why? No, he's not a bad guy. This could be the girl. Damn, she's alive? Her leg is gangrene. She needs pain meds. Not yet. She needs medication. She's clearly not doing well. Better shape than Ruben Martin, huh? She shot a cop, all right? You don't have her until I'm done, you understand? Now talk. We wanted to exchange our cash for diamonds. Not until she's finished, you understand? What happened? He pulled out a shotgun and took our money and Marcos freaked out and shot in the guy. Shot back. I didn't shoot anybody. Guy was a cop. He was murdered in his car. Paula, where's Marcus? Where? Where? Paula. Paula! Damn. Okay, come on. Let's get her out of here. Go ahead. Move. I just asked her a few questions before they drove her off in an ambulance. Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm on your side. So what did she say? She said that Ruben was dirty, that he ripped them off. I don't believe it. Kid was delirious, right? Diamonds in his stomach, cash gone missing. Mm. Doesn't sound too far fetched to me, Joe. Oh, I don't do anything to help out a fellow cop, except if they're trying to break the law. I don't like the way you're looking at me, both. Something I'm not getting here, Joe. You really don't know what's going on. Oh. Damn. This is what it means by FBI cooperation. I have all my men looking for the moon man. So do I. So when we bring him in, that's when we'll find out what happened to Ruby. Unless you bring him in dead. 
Because you think he knows something. something. I don't know. I don't know if it's Crooked Cop. I, the first guy, like I said, that we saw. I've seen him in many other things. I'm not an audience. You realize you're just filming me. Just trying to keep my camera happy. <laughs> okay then. Okay. Commander Dinko, be still my heart. Who? No need for that. All right. Well, so that that's mm, that's alarming. We even shot at close range. The killer was sitting right next to him. Oh, totally trusted somebody worked. With yeah. Him. Damn, Something it's even more. Thirty-eight issued by the police department. Mm. It looks like it could be a fellow police officer. That it still could be the other guy. The I'm telling you, he had a card. He might have been given a gun. Commander Dinko was notified too. He was on the list. Okay, we're on our way. Shit. Well, he could be here anywhere. Dinko too. Mind you. What's going on, Joe? You, you broke his nose. Wait, you. You were telling him to keep his mouth shut. I don't know. I don't think you did it. I really don't. I'm a cop. Make me arrest the fellow cop. Arrest? On what charge? I have a statement uh, here signed by a special agent booth. I was apprehending the suspect. No, you weren't. That's, That's not what I saw. I think it, that was emotional, what but I don't. I, saw I don't. A cop beating the hell out of someone. He wanted to keep quiet. That's what I saw. Yeah. He killed Ruben. He went after that girl. I stopped. <sighs> you think I was gonna kill that kid? You knew something, but you didn't say anything. So I gotta ask myself why. I don't, cause I already made up my mind. I can speak to my lawyer. The area on the rib fragments around the entry wounds is a bit discolored. What do you mean? It's stippling. Unburned gunpowder seared into the bone. I must admit, I feel more comfortable without him here. Me too. <laughs> I thought you enjoyed the limelight, Dr. Edison. I was wrong. I like the pure science. He identified himself as police and I put my hands up. They pushed you in that stairwell. Yes. I beat you up for no reason. That's correct. That's a lie. You know how many stairwells we have in this building? <laughs> not here. I'm somewhere else. Not here to see any of this. What if you say what money, I'll drag you to the nearest stairwell. I mean, totally different place. <laughs> this man. Yes. He was police? I didn't kill him. We know he was a cop. Where'd you get the cash? I still think it's I the other guy. That I should. Could have been the other guy. So these are the results of the materials in the stipway. So the victim's clothing was made of cotton and his belt, shoes, and the interior of the vehicle, they were all synthetic. You've been following this case. I'm sure you were on the edge of your seat wondering where that leather and alcohol came from. Yes, I am. Good. Then that will make for an excellent film. <laughs> so we and the money for the safe in your home. The gun matches the one that was used to kill your husband, and the serial numbers on the money matches the stolen oh. cash from the ATM. No way. What? That was... Okay, that's a twist. At least it was one of the first ones. Secret safe. After it was I just picked the wrong one. Murder. Shit. What are you saying? I'm saying I don't know anything. Why would you I'm kill your husband? this one. You threatened to leave him if he didn't quit his job as an undercover cop. He stole those diamonds for her. He gave up his whole career for her, right? But she still killed him. No accounting for love. Admit it. He gave you what you wanted. You didn't want it anymore. I wanted it. I just didn't want Ruben. What the hell? What the hell? She didn't even fit the profile. I guess she fits it now. What the fuck? Oh, when some, you'll lose some. I like a man who knows how to slake a thirst. Ooh. Can we drop all the food he's linked up shit? I love a woman who knows how to read things from the end.
there's absolutely no useful information in what you just told me. What's this? The victim. The footage from the fundraising documentary? Mr. Jersick refers to me as stern and imperious. Come on, Bones. The guy is a clown, all right? I look like a really, really mean lady. No, you're just really, really focused there. And rude. If Clark wasn't in this, the Jeffersonian wouldn't raise a dime. <sighs> Am I always like this? No, you know, this was just a very particularly stressful case. For you. <laughs> when I'm upset, you're upset because you're sympathetic. Well, that would be empathetic. Uh, the point is, <laughs> you're not always like this mean person. Because if I were, you... You leave me for a nice person. I'm not gonna leave you for a nice person because you are a nice person. Perhaps it's my sense of humor that's kept us together. It's gotta be your sense of humor. Well, it doesn't have to be, Bruce. Uh, absolutes or not. <laughs> are you just trying to keep me quiet? Yeah, come on. Gonna sit in front of you. <laughs> oh. Hey, okay. I haven't eaten since breakfast. All right, I said okay. I'll get you back. Let's get you back right now. You're a nice person. Very nice. I said. <laughs> she's like unintentionally mean like she doesn't realize it she's she's just so like <laughs> she's um realistic you know and like to the point but she doesn't like, it's not intentional. So, like, it's... I wouldn't even really call her mean. I... I mean, I'd call her blunt. Uh... And honest. I wouldn't call her mean. Because she doesn't... She doesn't have those really... Mean... At least, in my opinion, characteristics. As far as mean. But... Everyone interprets things differently, I guess. Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. I will see y'all next time.